All right, guys, we're going to try to do this. I'm going to try to vlog this Arcona concert. Uh, you know, we did a lot of vlogging at Heavy Montreal. We did a lot of vlogging in Finland, but I've never vlogged a show. So I'm going to try this out. Let's see how it goes. Uh, the doors open in 30 minutes. I'm going to walk to the venue. Let's try to vlog this show. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if this works out. If it's fun, this is something I'll start doing a lot more often. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But you'll never know until you try it. So follow me.
Hey, uh, this is Sam from IOM Air. Uh, if you came to see us tonight, uh, then thank you. Uh, it was an awesome night. Uh, so far, this is our sixth gig, so this is, we're still kind of a new band, but it's more like a super group uh, composed of Dylan, me, uh, Gabe, uh, Tyler, uh, Mike, and uh, today we're joined by Alex Zubair. Uh, Noel, uh, this is our third uh, inertia show, and every time he's put on a show, it's been fantastic. Like, it runs on time. Uh, we were on first at seven, and there was still, like, a really good crowd. Uh, I would say this is probably my favorite show to date because of how good the sound was. Velvet was a fantastic uh, venue for just clarity. Like, we have fucking five, six people on stage, and it gets messy, and you want to hear everything. And I was very happy with the sound of this place, and everything was run on time. Pro Culture, but He's going on it afterwards, and they were fantastic. Like uh, they, they've never disappointed. I've known them for years, so they put on a really good performance with the beer maintenance, and they got a new guitarist, Jack. He's really good. They even threw in a fucking black metal cover that was like my personal favorite. And uh, then there was Mesotol. Mesotol was uh, really different. I didn't really know them, but they kind of caught my ears, and they were pretty cool. Uh, I checked them out. Uh, you can check them out more. I was really excited to watch see Arcona because I've been a fan of these guys for years, and uh, Masha is a fantastic vocalist and I've seen her live but honestly like I've seen their music videos and it doesn't even do her justice like her stage get up performance her uh, like persona and everything was super solid and I was like legit just like on the back talking to someone and then I had to stop and just gravitate towards the front because it was that good and yeah overall fantastic um, show I'm very stoked and uh, it feels great to play a gig like this it feels worth it you know it's worth my time worth everybody's time I think that came out to see it and I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it and uh, hey Pedro and thanks for uh, Thanks for everything, man. No problem. You've been pretty supportive of us since the beginning, since our show back in September, so yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. I came in uh, right after Iomer ended their set, which kind of sucks because it's always, it's always great to support local bands. Um, but Protocol, the crowd was absolutely wild, and same goes for Metastol. Um, they, this is my first time seeing either them or Arcona, and um, of course Arcona absolutely killed it, what can I say? Um, the crowd went absolutely wild for Goy Rade Goy, and it's my personal favorite as well. And at the end, I got this neat little drumstick, so I have nothing but good things to say about this show. Alright guys, the show is over. I'm in the car getting ready to head home. And uh, tonight was Arcona, uh, Metzatol, Protocult, and Iomer. It was also supposed to be Winrose on this bill, but they didn't get their visas for the US, so they had to cancel and drop out of the tour. Uh, it, it was a great night. I'm really glad that they added Protocult and Iomer, two local bands from Toronto. I always love when they're when the tour comes to town and they include some of the local bands. Uh, it, it's really important. It's a, a really cool way to promote the local talent and give them a venue and to give them a way for them to promote their own music. So I was really happy to see these two bands. It's not my first time seeing them. I've seen them before and, and they're really solid bands. So I was really glad that I had a chance to see them once again and play live uh, in, in front of a good crowd. Mets at all was my first time seeing them live. They were perhaps what you would consider one of the opening bands, like Middle Card, right before Arcona. So it was my first time seeing them. I really enjoyed their set. A, a, a band that does not interact a lot with the audience, but lets the music do all the work, and, and it really interacts with the audience through their music. So I really enjoyed their set. wasn't very long, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, a, a very unique sound, a very unique approach, uh, really a, a really good live band as well, a, a band that's really tight, really knows what they're doing, a everybody plays their own role, everybody knows exactly what they need to do, and a band that just gets the attention of the audience, that really uh, captures uh, the, the audience and, and just takes them on the journey throughout their set. So I really enjoy their performance, I really enjoy their stage presence. I was really close for their whole set. I was right at the front of the stage, so I got to see it up front. So I must say I really liked their performance tonight, my first time seeing them live and I wasn't disappointed. Arcona, this is my second time seeing them. I saw them opening up for Corpa Clanny. This time, uh, they were the headlining band. So my first time seeing them as a headliner, but not my first time seeing the band. I, I was really looking forward to this because they played a really short set when they were in town with Corpa Clanny, and now 
they're obviously going to have a much bigger set uh, since they're the headliner. So I was really excited to see them live to see what the what a full set was going to be like. And I wasn't disappointed. I, I made a point of, of staying at the front uh, of the stage for the first half of the show and then move to the back for the second half. I wanted to have two different perspectives. I wanted to get that in your face up and close feel of being at their show and then I wanted to move to the back to get more of that better audio at the back kind of like take it all in just look at the old atmosphere of the show took take a look at everything that's going on and just uh, let it all sink in so I wanted to have the, the the two experiences and I really think it worked well for me I really enjoyed the moments that I spent at the front right at the front of the stage uh, absolutely incredible uh, this band absolutely destroys it live what a great live band tons of energy and they they transport that energy straight into the audience just really live they, they just they're a great live band and they just bring the audience to life um, uh, during their set absolutely incredible and I got to experience that firsthand being so close up front when I moved to the back was a different experience I got to see it more from the distance I got to see the whole atmosphere of the venue and, and, and how the whole sound and, and the whole feel of the concert was really about from, from a distance. I really enjoyed that as well, but I must say I enjoyed a lot more when I was up and close and seeing them perform right in front of me. What a great experience. What a great night. I honestly, Arcona is one of those bands that you, you have to see them live because they're such a good, such a tight live band. I really enjoy them. I enjoyed them the first time, like I said, when they played with Corpa Clanny. And now I feel like I enjoy them even more because it was a full set. They had they, they had full control of the stage, full control of the audience. Really enjoyed it. What a great night. I had an absolute blast. But now it's time to drive home because tomorrow I got to go to work. All right. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these vlogs. Uh, I'm thinking of still doing the concert reviews for some shows and doing vlogs for others. L let me know your thoughts in the comment section. i obviously going to be taking them into consideration as we move forward with these. But let me know your thoughts and see you in the next video. Take care, guys.